Okay, so here's another example where we have to simplify without the use of a calculator and they give us these expressions. Now, we might know that sine of 15 degrees, um, if, if I can't remember what it was, is square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4, something like that. But um, this is simpler than that. I can do it much simpler than that. If I recognize that this is the double angle formula for sine. Okay, so the double angle formulas are that sine of 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta and this is where it come in place to my advantage if I know this off by heart. If I know this off by heart then I recognize it. It's quite simple. So that I know that this, okay, that's not too bad. That is now moving in that direction. So this must be sine of 2 times 15 which is 30 degrees and sine of 30 degrees is just a half. I hope you are comfortable with the uh, special angles by now. How about this next one? In this next one we are given it as uh, cos squared minus sine squared of the same angle and hopefully you recognize that one as well as cos 2 of theta because cos 2 of theta is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. It may have also appeared in the form 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Okay, so this could have also been 1 minus 2 sine squared 22.5 or it could have been 2 cos squared minus uh, 1. Okay, so what do we have? This is 1 could be 2 cos squared 22.5 as well. It doesn't matter which one of the, the lot it is. Um, what is important is that we recognize that this is the double angle for cos. So it's the double angle identity for cos. So this is the same as cos of double 22.5 is 45. Okay, and I know already that this is the square root of 2 over 2. Finally, we have this one. Okay, this one does not look familiar, okay, um, because we don't have one of the double angles or compound angles where we have both sine sine um, as the only term. However, something that I would like you to notice is that the two angles are also not the same. However, I don't know if you notice this, but these two angles add up to 90 degrees which means they are complementary angles. When we have complementary angles, we can change the one to the other. So we can change this into sine of 22.5 and then this can be sine of 90 degrees minus 22,5. Do you see once again what I did? I rewrote this as 90 minus something okay? because it's complementary with that angle. And 90 minus is co, it's the, the uh, y-axis, so we use the complementary functions. So this is sine of 22.5, and this changes to cos of 22,5. Okay, and at this point we recognize, oh, it's this, it's this, but we lack the 2. Okay, but that's not a problem, and just multiply with the 2. No, we can't do that. We can't just multiply with a 2 as we wish, but we can multiply with a 2 and divide by, the, by 2 at the same time, because if we multiply and divide with the same thing, we've not really changed anything. So that's what I did. And what does that help me? Well, this top one becomes 2 sine theta cos theta is 2 sine of 2 theta, uh, not 2 sine, just sine of 2 theta. Um, 2 times 22.5 is 45. Okay, divided by 2. Don't forget then divided by 2. And sine of 45 is square root 2 over 2, but I still have to divide with another 2, so I'm dividing with 2 twice, which means I'm actually dividing with 4. So this is square root 2 over 4. Cool.